Welcome to Online Sunday School and our year theme, Where's God? Can you find the 10 items in the look and find picture? There have been fires burning, both in Canada and the United States, which have brought a lot of smoky skies to many people. But then rain came, and it helped the fires and cleared the sky. When I saw blue sky again, I thought of God's goodness. Last week, we learned about how God was there providing for Elijah, the widow, and her son. This week, let's continue to look at where God is in the divided kingdom. You can turn your past work. In your passport, turn to the page, Where's God in a Divided Kingdom? You can put a sticker on Lesson 2. Last week, we learned our memory verse for this unit. Let's see how much you can remember. I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not give my glory to another or my praise to idols. Isaiah 42, 8. Starting at the go button, let's follow the red arrows to practice our memory verse. You can repeat after me. I am the Lord. I will not give my glory to another. Now for the blue and green group, the full verse starting at the green button and following the red arrows. I am the Lord. That is my name. And I will not give 
my glory to another or my praise to idols. Isaiah 42, 8. If you didn't do it last week, you can glue. Let's glue our memory verse for the divided kingdom right next to the sticker we put on today. As we look for God today, remember to think about our big picture question. How many gods are there? Let's get started on our lesson today of Elijah at Mount Carmel. It's found in the history section again in the book of 1 Kings, this time in chapter 18 and 19. Let's play a little game and see if you can guess what superhero I'm trying to be. It can be fun to pretend to be a superhero. Today in our story, we're gonna see how God is more powerful than any superhero. As you watch our story for today, remember our big picture question. How many gods are there? No rain fell in the land of Israel for three years. God was punishing the people for turning away from him to worship false gods. Without rain, the lakes and rivers dried up. People could not grow crops in the fields. Finally, God was ready to send rain. God told Elijah to go to Ahab, the king of Israel. So Elijah obeyed God. Elijah told the king, Meet me at Mount Carmel. Bring the people of Israel and the prophets who worship false gods. King Ahab and the people met Elijah at the mountain. Elijah said, Make up your minds. If you believe the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. Elijah set up a challenge to show who is the one true God. The prophets of the false god, Baal, set up an altar first and put a bull on it. Elijah said, Call to Baal and ask him to send a fire to your altar. I will call on the Lord. The God who answers by sending fire is the one true God. The prophets of Baal danced and cried out for hours, Answer us, they said. But no one answered. Shout loudly, Elijah taunted them. Maybe he is sleeping. Still, no answer. Then the people gathered around Elijah. He set up an altar, dug a trench around it, and put a bull on it. Elijah told the people to pour water on the altar so everything was wet. Then Elijah prayed, 
Lord, answer me so that these people will know that you, Lord, are God. God sent fire from the sky. It burned up the bull, the wood, the stones, and the dust. It dried up the water in the trench. When the people saw this, they fell face down and said, the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. Elijah had all the prophets who worshiped Baal killed. The sky grew dark with clouds and God sent a great rain. King Ahab told Queen Jezebel everything that Elijah had done. Jezebel wanted to kill Elijah, so Elijah fled into the wilderness. He walked to Mount Horeb. At the mountain, God spoke to Elijah and encouraged him not to give up. The people who worshiped the false god Baal danced and cried out for hours to show that they loved Baal. But the one true God is not like the false gods. We do not have to work hard to show God we love him. Instead, he showed his love for us by sending his son, Jesus. Jesus died to rescue us from sin, and he hears us when we cry out to him. Hello, my name is Elijah, and since I was there in the time of King Ahab, I'm going to help you answer the questions today. How long had the drought lasted when Elijah challenged the prophets of Baal? Oh my, that drought was a long one. It lasted three years. How long did the prophets of Baal cry out to Baal? Those prophets of Baal went on and on, all morning, all afternoon. What did God's fire burn up? God burnt up everything, the animal which I had offered as a gift, the wood, the water, and the altar that the animal had been sitting on. Why is it important to know God is all-powerful? When we know that God is powerful, it's easier for us to trust him with our problems, knowing he can take care of anything. Why do we put other things before God? The people who worship Baal didn't all mean to do that. It can be very easy to forget about God and be distracted by other things. That's because there is sin in our hearts. 
How can we help other people see that God is the one true God? God made me a prophet, which means I was to share about him with others. God wants you to share about Jesus and his love with other people. You can do that by telling them how Jesus loves you and Jesus loves them and showing them about it in the Bible. Wow! What a God setting! God sure showed that he was the one true God and very powerful. Our story today shows us there is one true God who deserves our praise and our worship. The people who worship Baal were working really hard to try and get Baal to do what they needed him to do. It's not like that with God. We love God because he first loved us. We didn't need to work for his love. He showed us love when he sent Jesus to die for us and forgive us the punishment of sin. When we believe in God and he forgives us, he also gives us the Holy Spirit, which helps us to love him and to love others and to obey his commandments. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that you are a God that provides. Thank you that you are an all-powerful God. Thank you that you helped Elijah show the people around him that you are powerful and that you love them. Help us to show the people around us that you are the most powerful and you love us deeply and want to care for us and provide for us. Amen. How many gods are there? There is one true God who alone deserves our worship. Remember to look for God this week. Where do you see God's power? Where do you see God working? What is it that you see that reminds you of God's love for you and for all those around you? This week, you have the chance to meet your teacher on Zoom. Your parents have the information of how and when and they'll continue some activities about our lesson today there. Look for God this week, and remember, send me a video, a picture, or a drawing, and then I'll send you a badge. If you memorize our memory verse, make sure to send me a recording of that too, and I'll make sure to set aside a badge for you. Worksheet for the red group. Make it rain. Trace the outline of the raindrops to create rain. Worksheet for the green group. Color the flames. Use the number key to help you color fire that God sent from heaven. Color the ones red, the twos yellow, and the threes orange. Worksheet for the blue group. Big picture code. Use the key to decode the answer to the big picture question. Crossword challenge. Use the clues to fill in the puzzle. Find the verses in your Bible to check your work.
We hope to see you next week.